Hi, this is part two of a series of videos I'm doing talking about building a flex mapping interface. I've used best practices in building this. The header and the pop-ups are all better designed than what's in a lot of existing uh, mapping applications. What I'm going to do with this is to develop this further and build it into solutions for actual servers themselves. So specifically today we'll talk about ArcGIS server but we'll talk about other ones as we go forward. This uh, is the base, base of the template. It's a, basically a header which has got various tools across the top. Um, we can open a pop-up. Um, it opens in the middle. The pop-ups are movable around. You can minimize them and, they, and they're actually minimized over to the right here to accommodate other pop-ups in the main screen. You can enlarge them and you can close them. You can't uh, have actual multiple pop-ups open at the same time so if we try to do that it actually keeps the one that you've just clicked on and minimizes the other one and if you want to open this one again they switch over so over you now becomes the minimize and you can stack them in here as you want so they're nicely out of the way. Guess, it gets over the issues of, uh, of clashing of, of pop-ups. We also got the layer list here, which we'll we'll see in, in a little bit uh, as we develop it. But we've got the ability to turn on base maps here, and we'll also see the map list here as well. Again, this is treated as another pop-up. You can minimize it, close it, and open everything from here. Okay, let's move on to the actual uh, template we're going to talk about. This is um, at flexmappers.com slash ArcGIS solution slash solution 2. I'll actually include this as a link in the in the base of the um, of this video. As you can see here, we're looking at the same template, except what I've done here is I've I've actually added um, the ArcGIS uh, Flex code to this. So this is now building out using ArcGIS. So I've, I've, I'm actually using existing layers that ESRI make available. So the base map is um, the satellite base map is using ArcGIS Online um, and we're actually loading a, a set of, of, of background layers, as a, sorry map layers as well um, we're, we're loading census data and we're, we're loading street map data as well <coughs> one of these is tiled, one of these is dynamic um, we can switch the layers back and forth like so, the base map rather um, so we've actually got the ability within there just to switch them back and see how fast it is um, this is actually the the layer list is actually housed in the pop-up but what I've done is I've actually based this off of the the ESRI flex template so this has that same functionality which is, and it's a really slick uh, layer list it's dynamically built it's actually loaded from a configuration file and similarly to the flex template and um, we can we can turn dynamic layers on and off as you can see here um, and we can close the tree or open the tree as as needs be um, the um, and again we've got the same same pop-up functionality here we can minimize this we can close this we can open it back up um, one of the other tools I've added to this now is I've actually populated the print tool so again this is somewhat similar to what's on the flex template the Esri flex template plate I've just uh, changed it slightly um, but in this case we have the ability to actually um, output the a portrait or a landscape version of the map as you can see here we've got a portrait version and, and it grabs the title and the, and the subtitle you've added into here so that would be printed out to your printer in a, in a portrait form this would be in a landscape form and then finally if we click this one using a live PDF this would actually generate a PDF of the map so this is kind of an improvement I think on the existing flex template provided by ESRI and in fact, on, it's based on a lot of other flex uh, mapping applications that I've, I've built and found deficiencies in. So this one is actually a very configurable, very um, low-code template that allow, would allow clients to change the color, to change what tools are available, um, and indeed what services to load. So we can build off of this, and in future videos, I'll actually start to trying to build out some of the other tools that we can hook into ArcGIS. Um, that would include the overview, the overview view piece, um, and we may actually get time to to build the uh, the draw tool as well, which uh, we would probably enable from here. So we'll see how that goes. But I'll uh, this is the first of the ArcGIS template versions that that, uh, that I'll do. Um, I'll probably do a second one again, which talks more about what other tools we can add to this. Thank you very much for watching.